The Spore Lacer is an infested kickgun chamber. The blueprint is available for purchase from Father in the Necralisk. It fires rounds that explode into a toxic mist. The projectile itself has travel time and a bit of falloff. Due to the stagger from the radial attack on closer range, and projectile falloff on longer range, this weapon is ideal for mid-range targets. You could use the Exilus mod's Fatal Acceleration and Lethal Momentum to lower the falloff. The primary version of the Spore Lacer has an automatic trigger and it launches projectiles that explode with toxic mist on each bounce. The projectile itself has impact damage, the radial explosion has innate toxin damage. Despite the fact that it feels more like an automatic grenade launcher, it is an automatic shotgun, so we can't use Firestorm to increase the explosion radius. The primary grip will determine both the base damage of the projectile itself and the explosion damage. The highest damage will be if you use the tremor, the highest fire rate with the brash. I'm going to show you a build with the tremor and with the palmaris. From the tier 3 loaders from Fortuna, I'd recommend the stitch, with a bigger magazine and boost to critical chance and damage. From the tier 4 loaders, I'd recommend the kill stream or splat, which will give you the highest possible critical chance and damage. Considering this is an automatic weapon, having a bigger magazine is desirable. So it might be worth using one of the macro loaders from the Necralisk. If you don't have a ton of spare scintillant, I'd recommend not using it on this chamber, and saving it for the Vermisplicer instead. My first configuration uses the Palmaris Grip and Thymoid Loader. It has equal base status and critical chance of 21%, with a slightly bigger magazine. I'll show you the Viral and Hunter Munitions build first. Since the explosion has innate toxic damage, you only need one mod with cold damage to turn it into viral. The initial projectile itself will still do cold damage, you can use contagious spread if you want viral. But the most damage will be dealt from the explosion. Hunter munitions will apply slash to enemies hit by the explosion. This build actually works pretty well. You can empty the whole magazine, and let the enemies die from bleed damage while you reload. I'm usually a bigger fan of the immediate damage of corrosive builds. You will only need prime charged shell to turn the toxin damage into viral. You could use ammo stock here instead of toxic barrage. My second primary configuration uses tremor and killstream. It has a high critical chance of 35%, but a small magazine. With the lower fire rate but higher damage, this one feels more like a shotgun. The viral and slash build works even better on this one because of the higher base damage and critical chance. The corrosive build works better too, you can take down one of these level 160 heavy gunners with one magazine. I'll show you a build using laser sight too. In the simulacrum it isn't too hard to get headshots, but in missions it is significantly harder because of the low accuracy and falloff. A few shots to the face will take these down. The secondary version of the Spore Lacer has a semi-automatic trigger and a higher base damage than the primary. It launches a projectile that explodes into three smaller projectiles. In my opinion, this is a better weapon than the primary. If you use the jibber grip, you won't get any damage from the initial projectile, only from the explosion. This is a trade-off for the high fire rate. The haymaker will give you the highest base damage. I will show you both builds. If you're using a faster grip, you can choose one of the bigger loaders. If you're using a slower grip, you can choose a smaller magazine. With a high reload speed, it will usually mean your magazine reloads almost as fast as your fire rate. The Sporlacer secondary has a higher critical multiplier than the primary, the highest of all the kit gun chambers. I used Killstream in both my builds to make use of the 3.3 multiplier. I don't think it's worth making one of the infested loaders for this weapon, Killstream or Splat will give you higher critical chance and damage, and they are easier to build. We'll look at the faster build first, using the jibber grip. 
It has the highest fire rate, but the damage is a lot lower compared to other grips. With the Killstream Loader, this weapon has a critical chance of 35% with a multiplier of 3.3. We can't build this weapon for Corrosive and Slash, since it doesn't have any Slash damage. So I built it for Corrosive and Critical Damage. Since the accuracy is already low, Magnum Force doesn't affect it too much. Hydraulic Crosshairs are here if you want to go for headshots. Since the critical chance with Prime Pistol Gambit is already at 100%, headshots will mean you can hit orange crits. You could use Augur Pact instead. And Hollow Point will bring the critical multiplier up to 8.9 times. In my opinion, the best configuration for this weapon is the Haymaker Grip and Killstream Loader, with the highest base damage, highest critical multiplier and critical chance. With the same build as before, we can easily take down these armored targets. The Spore Lacer is a good chamber with high damage, very similar to the Catch Moon. The innate toxic damage makes it easy to build for viral or corrosive damage. The primary might be fun to use, but it's best to build this weapon as a secondary with high base damage and critical chance.